Hey everyone, it's Morella here, and in today's hair tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to take really light, over-processed blonde hair and transform it into a really beautiful brunette shade. I'm also gonna show you how to properly fill the hair so you have a long-lasting color using all Kenra color. So stay tuned and check it out. This is my model Joy and she gave me a little rundown of her hair history in the last few months and it's been through quite a lot. So just to kind of get you up to speed, she used to have a really beautiful, nice level nine blonde hair and then in a spur of a moment she decided she wanted to have a little bit of fun and threw some violet direct dye right on over her hair. And since then it's washed out and as you can see she has a little bit of this blue green cast with some blonde in the mix now it's pretty compromised because she's had lots of lightning services prior so i know that we are definitely going to be using demi permanent on her mids and ends because we're working with some compromised hair so first things first we're going to find her natural starting level so the really the best way to do that is go ahead and split her hair down the middle in the back and we really wanna expose the regrowth in the back because this hasn't been seen by any sun and it's gonna give you the best representation of her real natural starting level. So just for kicks, we're gonna start off with the level five N swatch and I'm gonna go ahead and fan that out and then push it right into her regrowth. And I can see that's a little bit on the light side. So I'm just gonna go right on down one more, fan the level four swatch out and then push this one right in and i feel like that one matches pretty good so we're going to go ahead and determine that she's a natural level four now that we've determined what her natural starting level is i'm going to go ahead and assess her ends so her ends have been through quite a lot and we know that she was previously a level nine meaning all of the red and orange and yellow tones have been removed from her hair so if we're gonna go back to brunette, we need to replace those pigments. Therefore, we're gonna fill her hair. So Joy and I decided that she wants to be a level six, really rich brown with hints of copper. And in order to get her to that final shade, we actually need to fill the hair with the proper pigments that were lost at that level. So the best way to determine that is by opening up your Kendra color book and looking at the underlying pigment chart. So if you look here at a natural level six, you can see that we need to replace gold and orange pigments. Now we got lots of things kind of going on here. So we need to fill her hair and we need to lift her roots and we need to go ahead and give her a final shade. So what we're gonna do first is go ahead and focus on filling the hair first. So that way we, we know we have a nice canvas to work with. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix up equal parts of 7G and 7CG in demi-permanent hair color and get that applied right onto her hair and process it for 20 minutes. Now, before we get any chemicals on her hair, we're going to build our house before we paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim off these dead ends right here so we have a nice, fresh canvas. I like to work in clean sections when doing any color application. So I'm gonna start off by sectioning Joy's hair into four quadrants. I then mixed up five grams of 8G and five grams of 6G to make 7G then 10 grams of 7CG, and finally 40 grams of 9 volume developer. Using Demi Permanent is vital for filling because most of the time when working with previously lightened hair, we are dealing with high porosity and compromised hair. Using a no ammonia color line is best in this scenario because it's the gentlest color surface we can provide. You will also notice that her formula is comprised of 75% gold and 25% copper. I did this so we weren't adding in too much orange since her final desired shade is mostly brown with only hints of copper. If her final desired end result was more of a vibrant red, I would have definitely went in with 75% copper to 25% gold. Little tip when filling is only apply your fill formula to the hair that needs filling. So for Joy, I'm only applying to her mids and ends, leaving her regrowth out. This not only will save you time, but you will definitely save money on product. So now we're completely done with Joy's fill formula and I absolutely love the results that we got. And as you can see, we replaced all of the gold and orange pigments that were lost. In addition to even getting rid of some of that greenish blue that she had going on. And now we're ready for her final formula. 
So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and address her final color, which is gonna go onto her regrowth. And we decided we're gonna go in with Kenra Color Permanent because we do need to do some lifting. And then for her mids and ends, we're still gonna finish off with Demi Permanent because we still have a little bit of compromised hair going on. Now during Joy's consultation, we found that she's a natural level four. And we want to go in with a brown copper finish. So in order to lift her hair two levels, we're gonna go in with 30 volume developer because in Kenner color, to lift two levels, you need to use 30 volume because it is low ammonia. Now, lifting two or more levels, we're gonna expose a little bit of underlying pigment, which is totally fine in this scenario, but I am gonna add some N into the mix just to kind of bring down the orange tone that we will expose, but we still want that brown copper finish. And then for her ends, we're gonna go in and finish with 6BC in demi-permanent, no ammonia, and it should match up nice and perfectly. I'm starting out by mixing equal parts of 6N and 6BC to equal parts 30 volume developer. I'm applying this formula on her regrowth first for a couple of reasons. One, we need to lift a solid two levels and two, we need a process for a full 30 minutes to get there. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that your formula is applied to all of the hair that needs lifting. You can see Joy has about two and a half inches of grow out, so I'm making sure to bring the color down far enough. A little tip is making sure to use clean, thin sections and apply to both sides of the section so you don't miss anything. Once you've applied your permanent formula, start your timer for 30 minutes or 40 if you're covering gray. Next, mix up one part of 6BC to two parts nine volume developer in demi-permanent. I usually apply the color starting in the back and then working my way through the front. So make sure to thoroughly saturate the hair and really work it into Demi permanent the hair. is meant to process for up to 20 minutes. And so in general, once you are done applying your Demi, you should have about 10 to 15 minutes left for processing time. A little tip is don't worry too much about overlapping your Demi over your permanent. These two color lines are designed to work together. So now I'm completely done applying her final formula. And the beauty of this is that we're able to process her permanent color and demi-permanent all in one step. So her permanent color is only gonna process for 30 minutes because she doesn't have any gray coverage. And we already started the timer once I started applying her demi glaze right on over to the mids and ends. So now we're just gonna finish processing and then we'll see you right back here to see her final color. So here is the final result on how to take your client from a really light blonde to a really beautiful brunette shade in two easy steps using all Kenra color. So just to recap, we did fill her hair with 7G and 7CG in Kenra Demi Permanent and then processed her for 20 minutes. And then after shampooing and drying, we went in with 6N and 6BC in Kenra Permanent with 30 volume. And then for her mids and ends, we just finish it off with 6BC in Demi Permanent. And here's the final results. So I really hope you enjoyed this hair tutorial. And if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hope to see you guys next time.